I want to say, maybe we talk some business shit. I was wondering, like, what do you think is, like, us and everyone in this office? Like, what's your best piece of, like, business advice that you've learned through, like, growing the UFC and all the ups and downs you've been? Like, I remember that uh, I saw you talk about once you were, uh, when you guys were, like, in a hole. How, how much in debt were you guys? Yeah, uh, 44 million. 44 million. Yeah. So, so, like, you guys had money and you're spending it to, like, exactly. talk us through that? L- Lorenzo called me one day and said, the fuck? Tsunami warning. Hopefully it's not that fucking tsunami warning. <laughs> There's a tsunami. I'm not fucking with endangered you. and dead, uh, elderly. What? Shit. Missing yeah, endangered elderly. Endangered elderly. All right. Well, I thought that was my phone at first. I was like, oh fuck my phone. No, but that was. Did you hear about podcast. that volcano, Dana? Did you hear about the volcano that blew up in Hawaii or whatever? Crazy, right? Yeah, everybody got the tsunami warnings. Crazy, I know. So. But it, but it would have happened by now, wouldn't it? That was like two days ago. I hope so. I hope so. I'm I think so too. I'm staying right on the beach. It, it, it actually doesn't make sense that it hasn't that there hasn't been a tsunami from that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it, I don't think it was big enough. Big but, enough. It shot shit like fifteen yeah, miles. I know, the air. but also I think our shit. We're, I don't. I don't know. I'm high. <laughs> well, you're earthquakes saying? that cause tsunamis. For <laughs> you look at the surveillance video, but it's fucking like fucking Earth exploded <laughs> 50, fifteen feet up into the air, or fifty feet, or something. I can't remember what the yeah. number was, but yeah. Anyway, forty-four mil. In forty-four the mil. Yeah, and uh, Lorenzo calls me one night and says, I, "I I can't keep funding this fucking thing, man. Me and." Me and my brother are blowing all our fucking money and get out there and see what you can sell this thing for. And I was like, fuck. So I started calling, making some calls. By the end of the night, I said, probably get six, maybe seven million. Um, and they were like completely out at that point. Like they're like, we got to sell it. That's well, that was where his head was. Yeah. That, that, you know, probably had a shitty day at work. Stock probably took a hit that day. Who, who knows what went on in his world that day to make him make that call or he probably had to send another funding check over. And uh, he's like, I'll call you tomorrow. So all night I'm thinking, oh, man, this is a fucking wrap. This is the end of this. So the next morning he calls me at like 730 and goes, fuck it. Let's keep going. How much more did he need to put in? Well, then what happened was not long after that was when we, you know, came up with the, uh, the concept for the ultimate fighter. And, uh, you know, None of the networks wanted it. None of the networks were willing to pay. So you for guys it. were like blacklisted at the beginning, right? Oh, like yeah. UFC. Yeah, and 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 you you got to realize a lot of these television guys. I mean, same shit with, as us. Yeah. With the growth of, of of all these alternative platforms now, I mean it's it's a whole mm. different world now than it was back then. Um, you, you know, you're you're talking. This is 2001 between 2001 and 2005. I remember, like, I remember watching. Cause I used to watch a lot back then, and I remember uh, like bat. You guys were battling to like get into states, mm-hmm. right? Like you were like, convi- you states. were like speaking and saying like the states won't let us in. Like, well, think about this. Explaining the safety of MMA versus boxing is crazy. We were trying to get back on pay per view, right? So as a grown adult, you couldn't make the, the 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 you could you didn't have the option to pay and watch this. Porn was on pay per view. UFC was not allowed. That's how fucking bad it was. You know what I mean? So the, 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 nobody wanted the Ultimate Fighter. The Fertitta brothers said, what if we pay for it and give it to you and let you air it? They liked that idea. That's, we, did, we did the deal at Spike. And uh, that was the last $10 million investment the brothers were putting in. Really? If so the where Ultimate did the- Fighter flopped, that was the end of it. Oh, right. And then where did the money start to come from after that? So then what happened was the Ultimate Fighter was a fucking Huge hit. smash What hit. was the first? Oh, it was Forrest Griffin was a contestant? Yeah. Forrest Griffin versus Stefan Bonner right. was the main event on, on the finale. Right. Which ended up being a fucking ridiculous fight. One of the biggest fight. fights, right? Yeah, it was, it was a And who were the coaches? Huh? Who were the coaches? you remember? The coaches were uh, Randy Couture and Chuck Liddell. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, so you had 13 episodes of that. By by episode three, we were pulling 2.3 million viewers on cable at that time was fucking huge. That was a huge number. And uh, so then we did the uh, the coaches fought on pay-per-view, and it was massive. <laughs> and then from there, just took off. That's crazy. So at you, you'd credit After like- After 2005, every year we bigger beat and bigger the and previous bigger. year. And six, we beat five. And seven, we beat six. And uh, 
in 20 we beat 19, in 21 we beat 20. I mean, it's been like that since the Ultimate Fighter. 